The small town of Belzig was located in southeastern Poland between two cities. During the German occupation of Poland in World War II, this area was located in the Lublin district, part of German-occupied Poland not directly annexed to Germany, attached to German East Prussia or incorporated into the German-occupied Soviet Union. In 1940, the Germans established a string of labor camps along the Bug River, which until the German invasion of the Soviet Union in June 1941 formed the demarcation line between German and Soviet-occupied Poland. The headquarters of this complex was a labor camp established on the outskirts of Belzic. SS officials forced Jews deported from Lublin district and other parts of the general government to the Belzic labor camp and its subsidiary camps to build fortifications and anti-tank ditches along the Bug River. The Belzic labor camp and its subsidiaries were dismantled at the end of 1940. In November 1941, SS and police authorities in Lublin district began construction of a killing center on the site of former Belzic labor camp. The choice of location was dictated by good rail connections and proximity to significant Jewish populations in the Louvre, Krakow, and Lublin districts of the general government. The facility was finished in the late winter of 1942 as part of what would later be called Operation Reinhard. The plan implemented by the SS and police leader in Lublin to murder the Jews of the general government. The killing center was only 1,620 feet from the Belzic railway station, a small rail siding connected to the camp and to the station itself. The SS staff and auxiliary police guards assigned to the camp were housed in a separate compound near the railroad station. The Germans divided Belzic into a combined administration reception area and a separate area in which the SS and police would carry out the mass murder hidden from view from victims waiting in the reception area. A narrow enclosed path called the Tube connected the two sections of the killing center. The reception area held the railway siding and a ramp. The area where the mass murder took place included the gas chambers and the mass graves. Rail tracks ran from the gas chambers to the burial pits. Each side of the camp measured 886 feet. Fine bows woven into the barbed wire fence and trees planted around the perimeter served as camouflage to prevent curious outsiders from seeing operations inside the camp. 120 SS guards were stationed at Belzic camp at a single time. It is believed that there were always more than 120 due to guards leaving and coming in at the same time. It is commonly believed that there were secret guards and approximately 50 prisoners escaped and or survived to tell their story. Groups of prisoners selected remain alive forced as Groups of prisoners selected remain alive as forced laborers worked in the killing area. They removed bodies from gas chambers and buried the victims in mass graves. Other prisoners selected for temporary survival worked in the administration and reception area facilitating detraining, disrobing, and requalishment of valuables, and the movement into the tube of new arrivals. They also sorted the possessions of the murdered victims in preparation for transport to Germany, and were responsible for cleaning out freight cars for the next deportation. Belzic was home to gypsies, Polish, German, Ukrainian, and Austrian Jews. It is estimated there is about 434,000 to 600,000 people killed at Belzic. Those remaining when the camp ceased to function were transported to survivor death camp and murdered. There's only a handful of survivors from Belgium. By 1942, Belzig was one of the three extermination camps in the area. It was set up under a plan to exterminate the entire Jewish population of central and eastern Poland. The camp was staffed by about 20 SS men and assisted by 90 Ukrainians. The first gassing in February of 1942 to test the gas chambers used metal cartridges of carbon monoxide gas. After the initial test, a diesel engine supplied carbon monoxide to the gas chambers to avoid the expense and visibility of shipping cartridges. The gas chambers were later closed and reconstructed to permit larger numbers to be gassed at once. Almost all Jews at Belzig were killed immediately upon arrival. Only a small group of prisoners were kept alive to sort clothing and other valuables. They conducted searches for money, cut women's hair, and performed maintenance in the vicinity. 
This killing continued at Belzig for less than 10 months, between December of 1942 and spring of 1943. Mass graves were opened up and the bodies of the victims were exhumed and cremated. Bones that resisted during the burning were crushed. The camp was then dismantled and plantings were introduced to conceal its function. Only a handful of people escaped the camp. Nearing the end of the camp's years of operation, Germans blew up gas chambers and all of their evidence showing of what was done at the camp. Even though Belzic was responsible for the lives of over 600,000 people, the Holocaust claimed the lives of more than 6 million Jews during this time. This is the reason why we will remember the Holocaust forever.